What up folks, Cajun Blaze here. Today I want to just kind of sit here and share with you. Uh, and I'm also, I hadn't done a video in a while, so posting this up on our YouTube channel. I, uh, I got a new tripod for my, uh, well it's a cell phone adapter for my tripod. I'm using my old tripod, so it's got, it comes with a little remote. You put, a, put it on your key ring via Bluetooth. So you can uh, take photos or you can uh, start and stop videos. So sitting out here in my backyard, fixing to crack open a bottle of wine and fire up a cigar. So just uh, want to talk to you guys, see how y'all been. I uh, show you what I'm carrying today in my EDC. Just a cool little uh, bottle opener. Having some uh, Josh Cabernet. Picked that up at Albertsons. Nothing, uh, nothing too extravagant. Just a nice little red, little red wine. Take the paper off. Any of you guys ever use one of these? You just open it up. It's got like a little, uh, a little blade on there. You use that to. Uh, it's got a serrated edge. I don't know if you can see that. Use that to cut the uh, cut the paper off the top of the bottle. Then you stuck with just the cork. Take the uh, the little cork screw here, and you screw it into the uh, into the bottle. And uh, you want to get it all up in there pretty good. And then what I do is I use this uh, this little system here. You see this little piece right here? I use that to pull up the first part of the cork. Then I go back up and grab it again on the second one. Just pull that cork straight out of there. There you go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Just got off of work uh, this morning at 7 a.m. I work night 7 and 7, so... Fix and enjoy seven days off. Have me a little glass of wine. Yeah, buddy. So, uh, I don't know if uh, you guys uh, remember my uh, ProTech uh, uh, Tactical Response uh, 3, the prototype that I had. I bought that years ago at a gun and knife show, and I uh, uh, I didn't have much information from the seller as to uh, uh, what what was so special about the blade. I picked it up for uh, probably a couple hundred bucks, and uh, it had number 14 on it. Using the uh, Recon One, carrying the Recon One today. You don't need a cigar cutter when you got a blade in your pocket all the time, and. Uh, just gonna cut that very, very uh, outer tip off. So, did you see that there? Just cut that outer tip off that. Don't take the whole cap off. And just about any blade will work perfect for that. You just kind of skim it, cut that off. Anyway, um, so I was talking about the uh, the Tactical Response 3, my prototype. It's a uh, R uh, W R Clark uh, a hand hand ground blade, and it's uh, he did a uh, he hand ground the hollow ground grind on the uh, on the blade itself. So I sent an email. I went to their website and I saw where you could uh, shoot them an email for questions or inquiries, and. Uh, I sent him some photos over at Protec of the blade and, and uh, what the uh, what the blade looked like and number 14 was 014 was stamped on it along with the uh, WR Clark uh, initials and it said prototype. Well, about a, a week and a half, almost two weeks later, I get a response. from a guy named Dave and uh, 
he uh, he said what happened was that was uh, uh, W. R. Clark used to work for them years ago, and this knife was probably built back in 2000 or 2001, and it uh, and it's a, it was a prototype, and there was only like 30 or 40 of them made, and uh, I ended up somehow years later back in 2009 with uh, number 14. So very special knife. I'm uh, I'm uh, super excited. I'm gonna probably have it. Uh, I, I've never sharpened it since I purchased the blade, but I don't really carry it that much because it's an automatic blade. It's a uh, auto uh, prototype uh, for a tactical response three on the uh, Protec, and it's illegal to carry, but I still carry it every now and then. I, I carry a lot of automatic blades, not too often, but I do. So anyway, you know that I'm carrying today the uh, Recon One by Cold Steel. This is just, I mean, this is a beast of a knife. I mean, the lockup, side to side, back and forth. You can't hardly really beat that. Just a great blade. So that's my knife for today. Carrying the uh, Phoenix. This is the uh, PD35 TAC light. It's got a thousand lumens. Also has a, uh, you can adjust the uh, lumens if you want. Go uh, dimmer and all the way up to a thousand lumens depending on your battery strength. It's got a very cool pocket clip on it. I ride that in the side of my pocket, opposite of my blade. had one years ago, it got stolen out of my truck, and I just purchased this one uh, a couple months back to replace it. It's been, been needing to be replaced. I, uh, I, I used to I carried my uh, micro, uh, Streamlight MicroStream for years, and finally that thing ended up uh, breaking on me. It wouldn't come on. I guess uh, some of the internal parts wasn't, uh, wasn't reaching the battery, or maybe even the bulb burn, I'm not sure. So. I picked up this one and uh, love it. That's my uh, flashlight. I can't carry at work anymore. I used to be able to carry at work, so now I only carry on my days off. Uh, carry a, a, a weapon, that is. So today, in my uh, crossbreed holster, carrying my uh, Glock 23. 40 caliber. It's uh, it's loaded. It's got one in a chamber, so that's uh, red hot, ready to roll. And I'm carrying that in my crossbreed holster, so I'm gonna go ahead and put that back in a safe spot. Now that you've already seen it. And uh, other than that, I got a little Fitbit uh, Charge 3 or Charge 2, I guess you could say. And uh, I've been trying to do a little exercising. Back in September, I got up to 353 pounds. I mean, down here in South Louisiana, I just love to cook. I'm not a depressed person. Some people are fat because they, they're depressed or, or what have you. I just have an addiction. Some people are addicted to heroin and cocaine. I'm addicted to Cajun cooking and Cajun food down here, and I eat way too, I eat sometimes just because it tastes so good. And uh, I've trying to been working on that, so I'm down to uh, almost 300 pounds again. Uh, started kind of exercising a little bit back in September. So for Christmas uh, last year, I got me a little Fitbit, or no, for my birthday uh, in April, got me a Fitbit, and I've been trying to trying to count my steps. Before that, I was using my cell phone, carrying my cell phone with me, and, and counting steps on my cell phone. But if you leave your cell phone on a desk or something. You don't have a uh, you don't have those options. So anyway, I'm gonna sit here and uh, finish enjoying my uh, cigar and wine. And I hope you guys and gals have a wonderful day. It was good talking to you. And uh, remember, keep your head on a swivel, stay safe, and God bless America. We'll talk to you boys and girls later. Cajun Blaze always says, not a, not b, but see ya in the next video. That is, y'all take care.